and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Hero. That's right, even though we just played some Abzan Hero, we got this cool looking donation deck. This is a, a pretty different Hero of Precinct 1 deck. Uh, this is a donation deck that I'm pretty excited about. The card that I'm most excited about is Tome of the Guild Pact. Whenever we cast a multicolor spell, draw a card. That sounds awesome. I need to make some more Tome of the Guild Pack decks. I always forget about this card. I was talking about this a little bit ago. Um, but yeah, this is basically like maybe we make like a multicolor creature deck with like Tome of the Guild Pact and with um, the Great Henge. So you just play something, you draw two cards. Oh, that could be awesome. But anyway, besides Tome of the Guild Pack, we also got Guild Mages Forum so we can make our creatures larger. This is also an underrated land. I like this land. Um, yeah, I think this land's pretty underrated. So yeah, we get to. Um, you know, make, make some larger creatures because Pitalith Pontiff as a 2-2 isn't that big of a deal. Make it a 3-3 and suddenly it's more of a threat. Same, you know, Celebrant as a 2-3 or Corpse Knight as a 3-3 a and so on. Um, we're, we got the four Seraph of the Scales, this awesome angel with Afterlife um, in here, and we even got a couple of Doom Foretolds. A bunch of really cool stuff in here. Ethereal Absolutions. Yeah, this deck just looks pretty sweet. Looks like a bunch of fun cards to play. So I hope we have enough card card draw, but Tome of the Guild Pack should help that. And uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. We're gonna queue into a bunch of Stone Cold Serpent decks. Um, all right, so we're playing a league with our hero, with our Tome of the Guild Pact, also. Uh, so here we go. Let's let's play through a league. We're gonna try to win five before we lose two. See what happens first. All right, yeah, we updated deck list, so we're good there. Don't think I got this thumbnail. I'll do that. All right, Hawkeye, you're going to help us out? Yeah, Hawkeye's going to help us out. Okay. Hey, Todd, do you think that the new Eat to Extinction card, 3B Instant, Exile Target Creature, Planeswalker, and Surveil, uh, should be sufficient to push Murderous Rider aside, or is the 2-for-1 Rider just too valuable? Yeah, I think that I think the 2-for-1 Rider is, is probably too valuable, but you can, you can definitely play them both. It's easier to splash Eat to Extinction in decks that aren't very black-heavy. You have to be pretty black-heavy to play Murderous Rider. Um, but there's just so many good payoffs of, of like the adventure creature and everything, but yeah, it, it also will depend on what happens with the metagame. If it turns, if the metagame turns into one where, where exile turns out to be really valuable, like where you really need to exile stuff because you, you really don't want to put stuff into the graveyard because then it gets, um... You know, things keep on getting escaped back and stuff like that, and Exile turns out to be really important, then that will make E2 Extinction even more valuable. What's up, Sir Eccles? Everything's going good? Huh. playing against boggles the thing you don't want to do when you're playing a boggle deck is you don't want your creature to die there's boggles those slippery boggles oh look at the kitty cat okay Yeah, without hexproof bogles are much, much worse. So I don't get to trigger. I could have gone the other route and then, you know, play Corpse Knight first and then play Hero to get the extra drain, but we get one extra, one less creature.
Oh no, the generous stray is so big. Why'd you eat so much food, Hawkeye? You're so big now. All right, yeah, so I learned my lesson. You know, play, play around combat tricks, learn my lesson. So no, no need to attack in with two twos or anything. Thank you so much there, Wefian. Says, just wanted to say thanks for streaming. It's about 3.30 a.m. and just finished feeding my 12-day-old firstborn. Man, congratulations. These streams give me something to do while waiting for his mother to take up the morning shift with him. <laughs> yeah, congratulations there, Wefian, on, on the brand new... You know, brand new, uh, brand new child and... You know that's that's amazing, and happy to be here to keep you keep you company. Yeah, it's kind of surprising their cats don't fly. Hawkeye can fly around. Hawkeye likes to fly. <laughs> Hopefully this stream will teach you that playing blue is not fun as not as fun as playing jank. <laughs> I have come for vengeance and blood. I demand servitude. Okay. Anything to change? Probably want Noxious Grasp. And Legion's End. And Mortify. Probably don't need Ethereal Absolution. Don't need Kaya. And... It's probably too much removal. Get rid of the Spark. Get rid of a Legion's End. <clears throat> Put this back, get rid of another Legion's End. Okay. Get one Absolution. Vogel Bully. Okay, you want some water? No? All right, we'll keep it. We got my favorite card, Tome of the Guild Pact. Am I going first? Oh, yeah, this red light on my face. It's from the... The mic, I forget about that. That's just from the mic. wasn't a sniper trained on me. Man, that's a 2-2. Two -two. That's a 2-2 two -two big for me to attack through. Still Hollow Wayne Finder. Alright, hoping. Hoping Sarah of the Scales does a lot of work for us. Keeping Mortify is a multicolor card to play after Tome of the Guild Pack. <laughs> oh, 
All hail the town. Town with a victory. It's a cool looking book, too. And it's like an Orzhov color book. Oh no. That thing's so big. Ow. You totally buy a diary with that cover? I know, right? So would I. Dude, look at how sweet. Oh man, it has all the guilds on it. Dude, how is that not a thing? <laughs> this deck has a theory lab solution. Death touch. Got to kill this five five. So we get we get to cast Ethereal Absolution draw a card. That's pretty sweet. But now I want to play Hero. Uh, we'll just play Ethereal Absolution draw a card. Sweet. Yeah, Seraph animation is really good. That's a good question. Do people do D&D campaigns set in Magic Multiverse? With all the planes. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, with the Ethereal Absolution hype. All right, let's storm. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, time to storm off. Okay, so yeah, so check out the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. Okay. Licensed by Wizard has everything you need. That does sound pretty sweet. Fiddle is punctif. Draw a card and make a one. Well, and make a two two. Oh, our deck was storming off. All right, poor opponent. It's like a new account there. Looks like. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you just <laughs> you know, pop up his head up. What's up? Yeah, I, I didn't have I didn't have the mana to really use with the. Uh, oh, hmm. With the guild mages for him last game. What do y'all think about this hand? It's probably a mulligan. Yeah, we're gonna mulligan. Ooh, I like this more. It would seem to make sense to put Tome of the Guild Pack back, but I'm not about that life. <laughs> Tome Keep. The Orzhov Mirror. Oh no, this is probably Esper. Yeah, they got yeah, because they got blue for Cryptic Command. And then Temple of Silence, yeah, definitely. Definite Esper. Need to draw land. But since we don't, since we need to draw land, I probably should not fetch. Trust me. You'll 
thank me later. I'll protect you. Better chance we draw a land. Yeah. Soren to Fairy Killer. Trigger. Trigger. Tome. Yes, Tome resolved. Awesome. I think we absolution. I don't know if I go foretold, we still have. Yeah, I think we go absolution. Makes my creatures bigger. Go, Absolution, go. Rude. I want to keep up the Pitiless Pontiff activation in case of Sweeper. I think that's going to be lethal. Looks like lethal. Definitely lethal. Oh my gosh! Pillow's Pontiff can't. Or this can't cast Pillow's Pontiff. I need to tap this thing. Uh, I messed up definitely though. I need to tap this thing to cast a hero. up as I go. Oh well, got to play some more spells. 
<laughs> Definitely lethal until I start playing. Yep. You never know what I'll do. Whoa. That looks cool. Look at those hands. All right, what do I want to play? I don't want to play Doom Foretold against their deck with like the Othakayas. They didn't look good. Um, I kind of think to Spark because I think uh, the expensive, like the, the card that's probably going to kill me is Bola Citadel. So I'm kind of thinking like to Spark and Duress and no Othakaya. Stop doing fake puns. You gotta, you gotta see if you draw them off sides, though. You know, you gotta see if you get that five yard penalty. You know, going with the hard count there, trying to catch him. <laughs> I'll go and never play this on some some battle Saturday. Yeah, Hawkeye's a good lap cat. Ugh. I would like to keep my hand, please. There's no Tome of the Guild Pact, so it's not it's not perfect. I feel like dealing with Soren is going to be more difficult than dealing with a Mortify. We're going to take the Soren. Dome. Dome. All right, now we need land. Yeah. Give me that back. What are you doing with my hero? Basic island. Whoops. Miss land drop. No. Alright, I think I'll discard this one for the Lils. Get this tome. I think Hawkeye, we're gonna draw some lands. I should probably keep this card though. To kill those bell haunts. Alright. 
All right, so lots of creatures. Noxious Grasp looking a whole lot better. All those devoted or those all those deputies. Oh, Kaya's in here. Get Kaya out. Yeah, we don't need that card. Okay. Retry. All right, we got lands, but we don't have a tome. Love it. We got lands and a tome. They better not cast Thought Erasure. Yay, not Thought Erasure. We got a couple one ones. That's a great block for us. Better not get rid of my tome. Yeah, we got the tome out of there. Just in time. Not multicolor. It's like our only spell that's not multicolor. <laughs> awesome, Wise Worms. Hey, glad to hear that. You're playing the historic green white legend. Cool. Come on, Deck. Where are the multicolor spells? Where are they at? Spell. Yeah. Let's go. Darn. We got one at least. Love it. Oh, tap this thing. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. Embrace the bloodlust. Oh, man. I think I can keep this. Man, these aren't even legendary? Dang, this card's great. Got him at five.
So greedy. Oh, come on. What is this? Well, that's not good. Well, that's really not good. Alright, maybe a little too greedy. But if we No I'm known for my excellent type. Here we go. Uh Man What a bad beat. That was definitely greedy, but they had their last three cards were two removal spells and a bell hunt. Yeah, you think I should have got Ser I got should have got Seraph back instead of and just gotten rid of the Soren completely? Would have been the safer play. I was planning on double blocking, you know, with my two two twos. But I wanted to keep Soren around. My opponent did draw a whole lot more spells than I did. And I had Tome that I was drawing, you know, extra cards, and they still drew so many more spells. Blech. I already don't like the opponent's deck. Server of the Scales does not match up against Teferi. Meditate and prepare. And unfortunately this Kaya looks like he doesn't do anything at all in this matchup. I've got it. and hit the road. Hey, Fison, yeah, GG's. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I, I just couldn't couldn't draw spells that third game. But yeah, that was a fun match, though. GG's. I feel like I should be taking uh, the Fires of Invention. Nicol Bolas is just so powerful, but they still have millions of cards. They get to play two cards a turn. We're in a horrible spot. The immortal Nicol Bolas will be your end. <laughs> I am omnipotent. Yeah, get over yourself. Don't 
welcome. You better watch your back from here on out. Okay. My intellect is without limit. I've got time. What do we got in our sideboard? Ooh, Ashiox, Mortify, Duress, Dispark. Cause yeah, Kaya is of course just a dead card. Doesn't do anything at all. That's a real card though. No weakness I cannot exploit. Focus and keep an open mind. Ooh, whiffed. Ugh. Just don't have laying lands because this nickel bolus. I mean, they have Castle going, they have Narset, they have Nicol Bolas. I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this. Yes, O'Neal, I do. I do upload straight to YouTube. And so, yeah, all, all the other decks I've played are, are up on YouTube already, including the Abzan here. Oh, we just got that one. I have just the trick for this. And it's, it's so new, it has zero views. are never ending. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Alright, Duress. Dispark, Mortify, Ashiok. That card is gone. Um, this card's gone. I don't know if I really want like Devout Decree or, or Noxious Grasp. Like they're both pretty narrow. Decree, I'd be more interested in Decree because they probably have Liliana Chandra. Or things like that. I do like how Othakaya kills their Planeswalkers and they minus. You know, like, this is a good Planeswalker removal spell. It's possible Doom Foretold isn't going to be very good because they, you know, have the sweepers and everything. I mean, if we just play Doom Foretold, grab a Planeswalker right away. My Othakaya makes it better, too. I think I may just take out four of these creatures. Like, that still gives us ten two-drops. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, 
Uh, my hand does not beat this. Does not beat this at all. Dress is a good draw. <clears throat> Need to take that to fairy. It's difficult for them to cast Cry the Carnarium after going uh, Temple of Triumph, Temple of Epiphany. All right, get another land out of the deck. Ah, sorry. Okay. I love having the castle lock Twain this time. Be able to get some, some extra cards. There are so many you own your prowess. Oh yeah, we're doing it. So that means I'm gonna kill this Narset. I was planning on <clears throat> being able to do two to the Narset with the Corpse Knight and then just tick up on Soren for the third point, but. Tome of the Guild Pact. Play it, opponent concedes. Also, they had a bunch of sweepers they couldn't cast. I'm sure that helped. Here we go. Game three. Yeah, they played Narset and um, the two mana one, Shimmer of Possibility. Yeah, the second duress taking the Teferi was big time. For sure, the Teferi is going to really slow me, slow me down, get get them more cards. Hopefully they don't have a sweeper hand this time. If that was probably any other land, I'd put to the bottom, but not Castle Lock Twain. Hero on two, Pontiff on three is a really nice curve. Um, because playing Pontiff on three, you get the one extra mana to be able to keep it alive. It's definitely important. This isn't a fight you can win. But, uh, this Let's time they got this. to Thought Razor to Fairy. They had that exact same perfect curve. Cry the Carnarium <clears throat> would not be good to see, but Ritual so would be fine. Don't worry, I got this.
Why would they not block the 1-1? One, one? Of course, they, it doesn't. It just doesn't really seem like they have a sweeper too much. No, and thought rager for Liliana. We could still save the pontiff, and they, you know, if it's such, they would kill their Fey of Wishes still. Still just the wrong block. They're blocking a 1-1 one -one that doesn't matter. They could have saved one point of damage by blocking the other, like the 1-1 one -one that was attacking them. I guess got punished for activating Castle Lock Twain on my turn. You don't get to draw cards. No card draw for you. Good hit. Because if I activate Castle, then they get to kill Pontiff. Ugh, that's really annoying. Use some training. Oh, I, I guess I did that the wrong order. Whoops. <clears throat> Could have put them down to 15. Probably really want like time wipe, to be able to pick the fate. Yeah, the fate back up. I 
That's pretty good. Feature. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. That was not a good block by them. That's like the third time they had a poor block. Still just fine. They're gonna have to discard the Fae of Wishes now. Tom. <clears throat> Boo. Let's go, Tom. Yeah, let's go, Tom. Oh man, double Tom. Better not kill my tomes. What? What are you doing? Casualties of war? <laughs> yeah, that is not remotely playable. Big oops. Uh, we're no, we're gonna be able to do th three there. Tom OP. Two and one. We've been playing some awesome games. You know, like the, even the match that we lost was like some awesome games. That was, those are real good games right there. <laughs> yeah, making the green mana. Yep. You're like, oh, you you want to cast a green spell, huh? Jeez, yeah. Tome gas. Tome's like our best card. Kaya's been our worst card. We haven't played against any one drop decks at all. This could be one. This could be a Dentual Innkeeper one drop deck. Kai could do some stuff. Ooh, a Witch's Oven. What's up, Arrow? Go, Kaya, go. Mm, glad to be Should have played uh, the planes instead of the guild mages for him. To make it easier to this time. Like, potentially Bravo. double spell. Wow. Wow, that's some respect. That's some respect for Kaya right there. Tom, Tom. Hopefully, I don't have another trophy. Yeah, not a trophy. Strange and magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. Uh, I can't play everything. Oh, 
I think I'm gonna play Doom for Told. Mm. I don't know, if I play Doom for Told, then I gotta sack like these things I don't really want to sack. Oh well. I hope they attack. Wow. That's gas. I did not want to sacrifice anything. Now I don't have to. Ah, uh, boo didn't attack. Okay, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, then I have three mana left. Sorry, kind of debating of like what, <clears throat> you know, like what I want to do with the guild mages forums. Like you know, kind of tap. Sorry, kind of counting out all my mana and everything. In that respect. Oh, that makes things different. That changes stuff. From your graveyard to the battlefield, activate it during your turn. So they can bring that back and then sacrifice it and keep the Nissa alive for one turn. Yeah, the team of the the tome of the guild pack's been awesome. So they are doing that. Keep Nissa alive. Trying to kill Nissa. I wish I had another mana that I could have attacked with, Pont you know, attacked Nissa with Pontiff last turn. I needed one more mana. The land shall conquer you. But after drawing the Doom foretold, didn't do that. Um. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will I will trade. Alright, need a scry, make sure we got more multicolor spells on top. Perfect. I guess I could put a counter on this and make it a 5 4. I guess I do that. We'll 
What would you like to sacrifice? Bye bye, questing beast. Okay. Yeah, this deck's been sweet. That was cool. <clears throat> Alright, well they did have Witch's Oven, so they were you know, like they were playing a food deck, you know, like Witch's Oven. They'd certainly play Trailer Crumbs, you know, Oven Crumbs, because they have the Feasting Troll King trying to make a lot of food. Gilded Goose. Basically what I'm saying is Kaya's not so bad. Grass was obviously just going to be coming in for sure. Same with Dispark. Exile, Troll King, Questing Beast, Nyssa. Um, I want Mortify because I need to kill Trailer Crumbs. I think I can still take out Kaya, though. I don't think the Witch's Oven is, is that big of a deal. So it keeps me from exiling stuff. I don't really want to play Doom Foretold against the Oven deck. Song in the world. Best song in the world. Now I'm going to cut a couple Kaya. Oh, the Kaya's also. I could play another Kaya or Zavi Super instead of Othakaya. Maybe play Legion's End or Duress. Is this Othakaya the best card? I'm not sure. I'm going to play one Duress. Yeah, yeah. Tome turning out to be a sleeper, yeah. Dome's been awesome. Well, this is either going to be us not drawing lands and just losing, getting ran over by like more powerful stuff, or this is going to be us drawing lands, drawing multicolor stuff, and Hero going crazy. Let's hope it's latter, not the former. Hero. Hero. Precinct one. Oh no! No! Boo! Ah, and trailer crumbs. It's just gonna give him so many cards. Gilly Goose just makes Trailer Crumb so much better and everything. I'm just killing that. <laughs> well, that could have gone better for me. I forgot, I, for, I already forgot about these Assassin's Trophies and my opponent just really wasting them. Like, that's not even a good trophy. Okay, I have Tome of the Guild Pact in hand that they know about. This is a terrible attack. Like, that's a great trade for me. They're not even getting, yeah, they're not even getting like a food out of it. Wow. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. We need to draw Mortify. We need... 
I am really bad with this auto tap. The skill mage forums just hurt me more in auto tap than like what it's actually done. Yeah, this is this is just over though. Like with with this engine double oven called familiar trailer crumbs is just over. This is just going to take a long time, but it really is over. Okay. So, yes, Kaya. Trim my two drops a little bit with Legion's End. I'll cut the extra fourth ones of each of those. I mean, they were still going to be able to get another five cards before we before our next draw step. So, I mean, yeah, I guess like a theoretical absolution could have could have certainly helped, but they're still just going to be able to completely refill their hand, and, and it's just going to take so long. And they can they can still keep on bringing in you know making food with goose that we knew about the. The goose. They could still keep making food with the goose and bringing the culture familiar in. It would just die right away, but they could still keep on doing that still. I mean, that thing was over. Land. Nope. Well, we got Kaya to slow him down a little bit. Okay. If I knew I had an untapped land, you know, I could have played like a Celebrant or a Pontiff, but we don't know that. Faced undead horrors. This is child's play. A lot better doing that on the play. But not forever. Oh, I didn't trophy it this time. Favorite standard deck. Um, Seraph does match up really well against Questing Beast, so that's pretty cool. Getting the fight, getting this counter now means that if they have Nissa, you know, like they don't get to like just Nissa plus the land, you know, then get to attack in because we have the Seraph there. Um, probably Mono Black Discard is my favorite standard deck. Yeah, that sounds like a good favorite standard deck. Yeah, Mono Black Discard. All right, get this Pontiff to be a three-three, so it's just a, it's a more menacing creature. Uh oh. That's not great. That 
That's not great. I require servants. Your court. Just hoping they don't have another questing beast. Or Nissa. Ugh. Pass. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad either. Well, I mean, I guess the Liliana is in trouble. Hey, there you go. KYSG. Keep it grinding, Todd. Keep grinding. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, this is Bertilux's deck. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet deck. All right, so we're going to grasp the wolf. Even though they can sack a food to keep the wolf alive, but then that means they can't kill Liliana. And now we both draw. Do I get back Seraph? Here, you tick up before something weird happens. Putrid, but effective. I think I get back... I think I honestly get back um, the Pitiless Pontiff that we can make indestructible and everything. Sat creatures with this Liliana out here. I require your body, not your soul. You know, they play a mask your girl, I sack the one one. So smart. Waste not, want not. The problem is they can still just attack, and then if I block, everything dies because Massacre Girl still triggers till end of turn. No attacks. But the great part is if they don't attack. All right, so I think this is lethal. Yeah, this should be lethal. All right, so we get that. We get this. I demand servitude. Lose a life. Minus four. Lose a life. Sack this and this. Lose two more life. We can attack for six, and then afterwards I can even, uh, like, you know, even if like they this wouldn't kill. Them, because, like, with Celebrant Pontiff, I can just sack this to do one, sack the hero to do one, sack the Celebrant to do one. So I could do another, an additional three points of damage. And we three and one. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Pontiff could have blocked the wolf and not died. Yeah, because it was indestructible. That's true. <clears throat> Alright, three and one. Our deck's pretty cool. Tom. Keep. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, that would not have worked. Because if I did block with Pontiff, Pontiff was death touch. They let the wolf die, and then the wolf clears the battlefield. Yeah, so I could, I just couldn't block the wolf.
I kind of like Kaya's sideboard with the deck. I think Kaya's very good. You know, like Kaya was awesome there. Two of those games, Kaya was awesome. Um, but I think I like Kaya sideboard, not main deck. I would I would not get rid of Kaya completely. Why is that hexproof? Why? So I could have made that a three three. I was I decided to keep up the activation, but honestly, maybe I should just be making it a three three. Yeah, honestly, I probably should just be making it a 3-3. No, I definitely should have made it a 3-3. Spells are resolving. Wish I could double spell with these, but I just can't because of these forums. <clears throat> also, wish I would have made that Pontiff a three-three. Don't seem to have very much going on over there. Okay, but they want to keep their okay. That's <laughs> like they they found cards that they'll, that'll help them. Two on top. All right, Dispark. Grasp. Both of those are great. Duress is good. Um, Doom Patrol's not bad. Could play Doom Patrol. Nah. All right, let's go. Oh, Will Mage's Forum. It's pretty slow. Got our best card, the tome.
kind of feeling like we shouldn't be playing these guild mages for him's. Or at least not four of them. Maybe like one or two. This land, we are all <clears throat> Get some Castle Arden Veils in Rise, here. My elemental friend. But just more black mana in general, also. Black is more important than white. matter which one I use. The spark or grasp. Grasp would gain me a life. Whenever I cut my hand I didn't really I didn't really account for me playing card on turn three, they're already playing Frilled Mystic and then Nissa, you know, like I didn't really account for that to be honest. Probably not, Karnfather. I don't think so. Reducing forum because of the uh, color requirements. You know, we do have a lot of spells that cost white B, a lot of two mana spells that cost white B, and this is a colorless land for them for the most part. I do, I do think it's cool. I just think that the four, I think four of them's a little, little much. I wish we had like two of them, and had. I wish we had like two of them and had like two more black sources. But then, <clears throat> but then with that, with that being said, um, like one of our five planes, I think one of our five planes should be a Castle Arden Veil vale also. <laughs> Thanks, Wars. Glad you're enjoying the playlist. We still have Mortify for an Ambusher. I don't have anything for Nissa with using that Noxious Grasp. That was the card that I really didn't want to see them play another Nissa, and thankfully they have not. I have no idea why they would opt during combat like that and not just play opt first, see if they would draw Nissa, but I don't know. Kind of a greedy attack. 
Yeah, that's the card I want them to have. That's great for us. Kill that draw card. Yeah, it's a lot better than Frilled Mystic countering my Tome or Nissa killing me. They really think that's a good trade. They could be using that extra mana towards Castle Vantress and everything. Wait. No, don't. Why are you using that mana? What are you doing? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, you gotta add both the mana first and then and then activate, activate. for getting the Twitch Prime sub here. I appreciate that, Chipmunk. It's our eighth sub of the day. I am being aggressive. They have some good inevitability with this Ambusher. This is a very aggressive attack. You know, they have, you know, like, Bounce plus Nissa, I'm dead kind of thing. But hopefully not. Good job, Brasshound. Uh, this deck, we are 3-1 and one with it. You can see the, the record up here. Come on, multicolor spells. Can you draw some multicolor spells here? Come on, deck. No. It's multicolor spells. So we're keeping it, but it's not a great one. I probably have the extra mana to activate these guild mages forums. Yeah, because I still have eight mana.
Cruel celebrant. Come on, opponent, you're killing me. What are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, they're still ahead. It's they're not roping. Like they're they're definitely just thinking, or they got disconnected. They could have got disconnected, or they're just thinking about whether or not to counter. It's not like they're they're mad and they're purposely roping. Like they're they're still ahead. Uh, what do they want to do? Nothing. They have another timeout. All right, last timeout. Well, that's going to do it. I am taking lethal. Just want to see their hand. Huh. Bunch of ether gusts. Bunch of post sideboard ether gusts. All right, game three. Cruel, cruel celebrant. Yeah, I'm not sure about Doom Foretold. You know, basically it's, you know, the costing like the four mana, I, I didn't keep it, but yeah, I could see it. Um, I mean, so like, I don't know. It's, at times it could be, it could definitely be good. Like, we need, like, other stuff to resolve also, which isn't always easy, and then play it and have it resolve and have other stuff to sacrifice. I don't know. I didn't, like, I thought about taking out a Cruel Celebrant for one, basically. But I decided to stick with the Celebrants of them being the cheaper card. No, there's no way they should trade here. So I could go temple, you know, just like play another one, two, play temple. And the ability to play Seraph of the Scales next turn. But I don't really want to just play out Seraph of the Scales 
into the four mana. I think I'm going to hold up Mortify to be able to kill an Ambusher. And if they don't have Ambusher... Gosh, I wish I could Duras and Dispark. Oh, it's Gilmage's Forum, but I guess we, we do have a 2-3, though. Otherwise, we would have just had 1-2s. I would like to duress away Anissa. But then if they do have Ambusher, I don't have the answer to, for it. <sighs> duress is not a bad card either. Just kind of awkward with how I have my mana. Okay, that's good. No Nissa. I don't want to main phase duress and give them frilled mystic value and then let them block. Thank you. Worked out well. Like never resolving anything again, but If I don't play anything, they get the Castle Vantress value. Oh man, this is a tough choice. I play Tome, and then I, whenever I play these, I still draw cards, or I just play the Seraph that just kills them. Oh no, 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 oh, I meant the... <laughs> I'm not even using the Guild Mages for him. Alright, we'll play the Seraph that kills them. Uh, should have made it 5 4. Could have put him down to one with a 5-4, but hopefully we're still all good. Yeah, looks like we're all good. All right, we are four and one. Moving on to the final boss with Orzov Hero. Let's get our final boss playlist. Here we go. Let's get all this gold. Ors off hero.
these forums. So now the Tranquil Cove. Oh, come on! Forgot auto tap's not going to do that. I need to manually tap that. I was going to get bounced. Sorry, I'm it's going to get bounced anyway. This might be a bad idea. You might be a bad idea, Teferi. The ring of my sword is your death. Vampirism is a useful trait. Hmm. You don't see too many prison realms in blue eye control. Because of planar cleansing. <laughs> I can't even double spell. Uh, oh gosh, I should I need to play swamp. Yeah, I can't I can't double spell with the, the two creatures. I want to play the two creatures. Now they counter this. Oh, I really should have just mortified that before. Yeah, I No, I couldn't play I mean I I don't have two white I couldn't I couldn't generate two white mana to play both, I don't think. Don't worry, I got this. Like because I, I had to have one colorless land and I couldn't I couldn't have a that. I should have just mortified the prison realm and gone back the Soren, I guess. A starter guide? Yeah, I recommend kind of reading through there's a this very long article series. They're like that article series has a lot of great information. Yeah, so Gosh, yeah, I could. I just can't double spell. I can't play Doom Foretold and anything else. And I'm definitely playing Doom Foretold. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm not playing Doom Foretold then. Then Temple of Silence. Why do why do my lands always have to be just so awkward? Here comes Time Wipe. No Time Wipe.
Well, I definitely need to mortify whenever they're tapped out or play the swamp and play two things. I don't know. I I didn't I didn't sequence this game well. Like basically ever since turn turn five on, I did not sequence this well. Yeah, I can't really do anything about time wipe. I think just pressuring them, having Curl Celebrant keep my life total really high, trying to have Castle Lock Twain get me back into it. It's about the best I can do. It's always possible they don't have time wipe. They're probably not casting time wipe now. Yeah, so this is like the, the old school blue eye control with all the steel effects and prison realms and stuff instead of planar cleansing. The agent took Castle Black. We, we couldn't defend ourselves to the White Walkers. <laughs> All right, let's see. Gets us to 61. 60. I don't know. I kind of like Othakaya. I do have a lot of things to kill with Othakaya. I think I got a Corpse Knight. I don't really need more. Two mana, two twos. Yeah, killing Gadwick, Teferi, Brazen Borrower. Or just being three damage upstairs whenever we ha try to like machine gun them with our cruel celebrants and everything. All right, we got good mana. Um, I th think I put back Swamp, though. Gonna look for more land. But I think I want Hero Celebrant 
right away. Put some pressure on him. Ooh, I'm gonna go Corpse Knight. I think this one's Final Fantasy Nine. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy Nine. Yeah, it was. It was play Cruel Celebrant or activate Castle Lock Twain. Those are like my two options. Activating Castle Lock Twain. The undead. Go, Liliana, go. This looks like a fun new toy. Go, Liliana. Darn. One short of playing Tome and... Seraph. Would be a bad time for a planar cleansing. We're setting up for the long game. Ruby corn. Thank you so much. Say hi, I'm hyped to play Croxa with Lazav. Ooh. Yeah, Lazav, Lazav with those Titans. It's probably pretty awesome. It's a good call. Seraph looks even better when she draws you a card. Final meow meow. <laughs> Go 
Last casket. So they can attack out and kill Liliana. Do you still have lethal attack in the air? kind of forced to play that. Apostle of Purifying Light. A difficult card for me to deal with. Or I could just go wide and they just destroy it with a sweeper, but the time wipes don't destroy it. All right, anything I need to change? Looks good. Um Yeah, I like I like your blue, your mono blue mill deck. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, you got all your drown secrets. Couldn't... Got some frogifies. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I'll be starting at one one thirty Eastern. This is kind of awkward because I really want to go Hero into Ashiok, but now I need to find room for time for Duress. On time for dress. Hmm. It's a pretty good hand. So I mortify borrower, and then now they don't have an answer to Ashiok, and then Ashiok mills them a bunch. I don't know. I guess that's kind of my plan.
So obviously the problem with playing hero first is time wipe. Hit win conditions. All right, got an agent treachery out of there. Yeah, if you put in. Oth if you put Othakaya in the sideboard, what should you play instead? Probably play like a, a third Mortify. And. Yeah, the, just have the third, third Mortify in the main deck. Oh, that was terrible. Well, that was terrible. Yeah, this is this is just such an awkward hand. Uh, I don't want to play hero because of this. Yeah, just like these these castles are just gonna <laughs> are just gonna beat me. If it wasn't for the castles, we we need more cat like we need more castles. That's something that this you know we have the two color mana base. We need to be playing more castles. The black and the white castle are both amazing. Like I would love to have the white castle that we could just be activating. I think they're just more valuable than the forum getting extra extra mana. Cause he playing a third tome of the, the tome of the guild packs were just amazing. I, you know, if you're taking out the Kaya's, maybe a mortify in a third tome. I got a second agent of treachery out of there. You will be haunted by this tool. We have tons and tons of cards now, though. Boo. <clears throat> wow. That was not the correct thing to do. I was hoping they were going to leave cards on top for us to exile. They put them down to the bottom. Yeah, this is the perfect matchup for Thought Distortion. Yes. This is the best. Yeah, you definitely have a Thought Distortion sideboard. I like it because, honestly, blue-white control is really difficult to beat. And even though it's just for one matchup, it's a it's a really, really good card in a really tough matchup. Well, that's game. What's up, Oscurio? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub.
has stayed awake to almost morning to resub today. That is that's some dedication. So thank you so much. So yeah, your Twitch Prime sub just ran out. And that got us our sub goal. Let's say ten out of ten. Perfect. We'll mark that down towards the next twelve hour stream. I didn't really want the Mortify, but I kept that on top because that was a just a fine card for them to exile. But the castles just defeat us, unfortunately. We can try to try to win before sixteen cards. We didn't. We didn't exile finale. I was just pretty awkward, like, you know, our cards and everything, but, yeah, we need our mana base to do more. Where, where? So, what I would recommend there, we died. But still, that 4-2, like, our, our other loss was, like, super, super close that I, I could have maybe made, made, I could have made some better decisions that would have helped us, like, with the second loss. I just want, I need these Castle Arden Veils. How, how do you think, how do you expect us to win that game, Joey? They still just had a bunch of counter spells left. Maybe one forum, or like, you know, maybe a forum. These castles are so good. We have like this would be like eight planes and eight swamps to have these castles come into play untapped. I guess ten ten of each, like basically ten planes, ten swamps. Um the third may be overkill. I mean, it's definitely not overkill, but like the third with the third you start you may start running into problems of having hands of just castles and te like temples, castles. Um, so, you know, you could play two of each and just bump this up or cut a planes, play a second forum. If you like the forums, play two there. Um, kind of recommend more castles though, than just, you know, we had just the two castle lock twains there in in that game, in those games. And we saw like a lot of times we wanted like Castle Octwain was really good for us so much. I know they have diminishing returns that like once you have one, you don't really need more, but like the first drawing the first castle is just super valuable on both of these. Um and then uh I mean honestly I would I would probably just play what if it was you know like what what I would do is I would just play one forum. And probably just the two castle are unveiled, the three lock twains, and a third fable passage. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. Um, but then yeah, we were talking about like maybe just putting these Kaya's over to the sideboard, um, play a mortify, and get an extra tome of the guild pact in here. And yeah, I think so. Basically, Ash Ashiakio you know, can can do a little bit of work there, 
but honestly, a Ashiok's against... There's not really graveyard decks for Ashiok to be good against. Ashiok can only really do something against control, like we saw like like uh, th that game there, that last game, try to get rid of their library. But if you want to do that Ashiok plan, you really have to play like the full four, because the first Ashiok doesn't really win. You kind of have to back up an Ashiok with another Ashiok, and sometimes and another one. So if, if you really want to do the Ashiok plan, you kind of have to have all of them. But yeah, we're talking about Thought Distortion... If you want, because basically, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't board in Ashiok against anything else except for control. If you want a card for control, Thought Distortion is probably going to be a better bet. That you board out Absolution, you bring in Thought Distortion for that slot. This means that there's 16 in the sideboard, though. So you could just go with just the one Thought Distortion in the sideboard. The castle is definitely going to help that matchup also. So yeah, maybe just play one Thought Distortion in the sideboard, and then you can keep all the rest of the sideboard cards. With Kai in there now. Um, so there we go. Just a couple of small updates. Um, but some, some really good, really good stuff here. This was a fun deck to play. Yeah, this was definitely a fun deck. Um, yeah, we should, I definitely plan on playing this deck again. The Tome of the Guild Packs were awesome. Um, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant, especially because of Tome of the Guild Pact. They looked better. Pontiff looked better. Those cards looked better than what they usually do. So I liked him. I, I'm not sure about the Doom, Doom Foretold, honestly. I think Doom Foretold was probably my least favorite card in the deck. Besides, like, the Kaya's. If... To replace Doom Foretold, honestly, Soren was just really good. I wouldn't mind more Soren. Either. Like, what if. What if you had, you know, just a third Soren and a Dispark? Another Dispark in the main. Either that or either that or just play like the one Doom Foretold and play a third Soren. I don't think I want a second Doom Foretold. It's like maybe one. But honestly, I didn't really like it that much. I think I'd rather just play Dispark. Dispark is so good against so basically everything. Because even even the all like every aggro deck is an Ember Cleave deck, so even every aggro deck has a Dispark target. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Yeah, I wish form was better too. Um that's that's kind of the problem, is just these castles are just too good. Making creatures all the time. It's just awesome. Especially when you have stuff like Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant that you want like extra chump blockers and Ethereal Absolution and everything, and Liliana. All right, but there we go. There's Orzhov Hero. Um, all right, so uh, kind of reminder, no stream tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Um, but I'll be back Saturday, 1.30 Eastern for the MCQ. If you want to watch it, and then it'll be, uh, of course, I'll be I'll be streaming that live. I'll be recording that for YouTube as well, uh, for those of y'all watching on YouTube. But um, that's why if you're watch seeing this in a couple of days, that's why we got no videos for YouTube uh, and no stream the next three days. But we'll be back Saturday. So um, that's it here for Orzov Hero, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.